Santa knows where to find all the best and hottest smartphones just in time to make this Christmas better and bigger than ever. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Ho, 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 ho. Elkhorn City is one step closer to obtaining funds for its Steel Bridge water line replacement project. During today's Pike County Fiscal Court meeting, magistrates adopted a resolution in support of filing a grant application with the Department for Local Government for the project. There is a water line that goes across the river that connects the two parts of Elkhorn City. It is along an old steel bridge that is currently underneath the current bridge at Elkhorn City. That water line has been on that bridge for a long time and at the time it was a really good use for the bridge. But as most people in the region know, that bridge has deteriorated and is becoming unsafe. If that bridge falls, then that water line certainly will be a victim of that event. Elkhorn City has applied for and received money from FEMA in the amount of $234,000. Now the city needs a 13% match in coal severance taxes. The match would total $36,000. The Pike County Fiscal Court and each Pike County legislator must approve money being taken out of the coal severance funds. The bridge will not be moved, torn down, or replaced. It has to do with moving the water line off the existing bridge. So the only thing we're talking about is moving that water line off the unsafe conditions of the bridge. It is unclear when construction of the project will begin or if it will be fully approved. In Pike County, Shelby Porter, EKB News.